Hello everybody. Today I'm going to show you a little drawing video. I made a fan art which I wanted to do for a long time and it's a drawing of Zelda Spellman. Now this is a time-lapse video but I left a lot of stuff in there. Maybe you can sometimes see when I make pauses to think or you can see me thinking when my when the mouse is moving around. I made mistakes and then you can see me correcting them or changing a specific shape. So I let all of that stuff be in that video. So it's really a natural process you're going to see here. Also I have the drawing part and the inking part of this uh, artwork. So in the first part, the drawing part, where I make the sketch, um, there's going to be no zoom. Yeah, I think I didn't zoom at all. If I did, it, I, I didn't zoom a lot. So in the second part, I'm going to do more zoom in and uh, focus more on little details because of the inking. And also my canvas is going to turn a little bit more. So the first part is very static and the second one is more dynamic. Just so you know. I'm making this video because I want to practice my digital drawing a little bit and also I am currently trying to get better at inking, like this comic style inking. So that's why I need a little drawing to practice this on. And there's also one new thing I did with my Photoshop or I implemented because I always see people flipping their drawing uh, it's like like in earlier times you took a mirror and you placed a mirror on your drawing. The flipping is a technique people use to see if what they're drawing is more or less correct. So you have, for example, a face which is looking to the left. And when you flip the canvas, the face looks to the right and you can, you can see mistakes better. So usually when you draw your drawing and you look at it all the time, when you don't flip it, you get blind for errors. So if you flip it, you can see much better if your drawing is well constructed. So for one, I implemented that as a shortcut in my Photoshop. So I think I put it on Ctrl Y. Yeah, I think Ctrl Y is my shortcut for this flipping now. I always flip the whole canvas. so. Take care that you don't put your shortcut on flipping one layer because you're going to regret it. <laughs> That's going to be weird. So flip the whole canvas and then you, you just flip it back again or you control Z or however you want to do it. Yeah, so that's the first time I'm doing this. I know you should do it. I was always too lazy to get the shortcut. And also I am a little bit afraid of every possibility to show me how bad my drawings could be or what mistake I made. But in the end, it's a necessary tool. You have to use it because if there are mistakes and if you are able to see them, you should correct them. I still don't know if I used it right, but I try to use it. I'm going to try to make this, I'm going to try to make this a habit. And yeah. So at some point you will see me do the writing over the text. Like I said, this is a fan art of Zelda Spellman from the newer Sabrina series on Netflix. And I really love that character. This is really one of the earliest scenes, I think. I mean, it's in the first season and I really enjoyed um, this little part where Zelda is killing her sister, Hilda, and burying her. And then she's simply burying her in the yard so that she can be resurrected. And she's just doing that to vent off steam. But she knows that she's not really killing her sister, although she is. Uh, it's a weird thing. So it's, it's just a funny joke in the, in the series. So the text I'm writing is the original text from the series. This, uh, she annoyed me, so I killed her and buried her in the yard. And I, I just wanted to put in a little comic bubble. Now for the inking, like I said, I want to practice more inking and I am not 100% sure how well I did on this drawing. I think it's my 
third or fourth real try to get inking digitally. So normally I just do outlines and then I color. But in this case, I want to try inking a little bit more in a comic style. So you have bold outlines, but you also have deep blacks and you try to implement some hatching or cross hatching for the shadows. So if you have a good tutorial suggestions or even book suggestions about this topic, please leave them in the comments for me. I would love to get my hands on more resources to learn more about this. Because in this case, I've, I think you can see really well that I am a little bit unsure about where to put the bold, well, the, the full blacks and when to, when to do the hatching. I know you have, so you have the shadows on your form and you have your cast shadows. The cast shadows, um, people say that you should not hatch them and all the shadows on your form, you can hatch them. The more you leave the full darks away, the softer the shadow gets. Um, yeah, this whole inking thing is, I think, a lot of trial and error still. I mean, you can learn a lot of theory about it, but in the end, you gotta do the work. You gotta try out pieces and just uh, see where it takes you. And practice, practice, practice. When I do the writing, I like to do it uh, by hand, but I write it out with a font first and I write over that font so I don't have to think as much about spacing and alignment, but it's still handwritten so I can, in this case, I put some emphasis on the word killed and well, it's just, it keeps everything well aligned but still natural and playful. So yeah, there you go. That's the way I use, I do my lettering. So this is my drawing of Zelda Spellman. I hope you like this little video. I'm still considering coloring this one because I got some new brushes, which was also a reason why I wanted to train some more inking. And in these brushes, I also have some cool texture stuff for chalks and old paper and stuff. So maybe I'm going to try to color this one in depending on my workload. And yeah, I hope you liked this video and that I will see you next time. Bye!